Good morning, fire signs, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is to go on and just give you a different type of reading, okay? And basically, this reading will help you to learn to trust and to believe in your true power, ladies and gentlemen, and to give you that unshakable inner peace that your heart so desires here. If you're new to my channel, I certainly uh, appreciate both your viewership as well as your new subscription, okay? And you veterans out there, welcome back, all right? I'm going to go on and just shuffle up these cards right here just to see what message of spirit has to say for you. And this reading is valid from now until the end of this month here. And fire sign, rest assured that because this is a general reading, it may not resonate for each and every one of you fire signs out there. So... Just go on and just accept whatever that does resonate and just let the rest fly here. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my fire signs? OK, for this time period in question. OK, what is it that you would like them to to learn to trust? In? OK, let's see. All right. Spirit is telling you that there is strength in doing nothing. There is strength in waiting, ladies and gentlemen, because it seems that you guys have, you know, mostly gone through a very tumultuous period in with regards to your romantic situation here. Understand that what have, you know, you need to ask yourself this question. What have you been forcing and how can you let go of the outcome here? Okay, because it seems that many of you have attachments. You're too attached to the results here. And so this card is kind of telling you to surrender attachments to results and just let things be, you know, kind of, you know, take a wait and see stance, if you will. Okay, understand as well is that you certainly cannot make a mistake. There are infinite possibilities available to you. Okay, all you just have to do is to try. So ask yourself, where is your heart truly guiding you, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, understand too that you are definitely the true seeker, awakening, and you are actualizing as well as transcending bad experiences. Okay, so how can you invite more grace to guide you in your life? All right, understand that. No matter what you've kind of been experiencing here this month or per perhaps this entire year, rest assured that when peace is your priority, negativity certainly cannot exist. So how can you see through the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, of source energy and really try to prioritize your inner peace a bit more? Okay. You certainly have the Midas touch here, okay? Things are about to work in your favor despite appearances to the contrary, okay? So ask yourself, in what ways are you abundant right now? Or you soon will be, particularly during this time period in question here, all right? Make no attempt to run from the darkness. You need to embrace your true shadow side here. And I will be posting um, the shadow reading for your sign, for the fire sign soon here. I'm just trying to just get through a few other readings first. So that you can take a peek at those things here that those aspects of yourself, you know, that you have been afraid to look at or even addressed here. Okay. It seems that you guys are, are really going through a great awakening. Walk in your truth and stand firm in your light. Ask yourself, how can you really trust yourself a bit more? Okay. And understand that whatever has transpired with between you and another, it does not have a bearing on what will be for you. Other opportunities are possible here. So what does your ideal life look like as well as feel? Okay. It's time that you eliminate distractions. Stop shining light on things you are not. Ask yourself, how can you reclaim your power? Okay. Keep in mind that in move, moving forward, that 
Oneness is certainly the way here. So how can you show more compassion and acceptance toward those that you don't really understand here, ladies and gentlemen? And last but not least with these cards, okay? Everyone, you have to understand everyone is certainly on their own journey, okay? So how can you focus more on your own path, you know, without worrying about what others might be doing here, all right? So keeping along with those thoughts and what I've just basically told you here, let's see what other messages that spirit might have for you in terms of, you know, uh, messages to help better facilitate your ability to transform your life by letting go, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what are some things, spirit, that fire signs need to consider surrendering or letting go, particularly during this time period in question here. Okay, again, this reading is valid from now until the end of this month here. Okay, so let's see what messages that comes up. All right. It's very important that you surrender your addictions. Okay. And this means, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're addicted to substances, which I see that that could be an element that's lurking. Okay. Food or people or even, in fact, sex. Or just really overworking. You need to take action to begin to heal the addiction and try to replace it with healthier alternatives. To include but not limited to maybe, you know, working out or just taking walks or just doing something, you know, just to get your mind off and then just stay out of the house a lot. You know, that's what I'm kind of feeling here for you. All right. Surrender to divine time, and as we've seen here, or as we saw um, in the other cards that I shuffled up, that things are seem to be working in your favor. So sometimes divine time, and ladies and gentlemen, may not um, cross with the timing that you would like. In fact, it usually differs from your ego's time. Okay, understand too that if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, you got to try to be a bit more patient. And trust in a universal flow, all right? And I kind of get this strong sensation that a lot of you have been in the doldrums, and it's probably due to this return of the mat that seemed to have been come back into the picture again here. But you, it's time that you start to learn to surrender to play, okay? You need to take a break, ladies and gentlemen, from really overthinking a go. Try to do something fun with yourself because play is certainly a time of recreation as well as, ladies and gentlemen, rejuvenation, okay? It's time that you surrender your belief in scarcity here because the universe is certainly asking you to really open up to infinite, to the infinite nature of abundance here, Okay? Because in this way, ladies and gentlemen, you will certainly be able to remove blocks in your life and you're going to succeed beyond your wildest dreams here. All right. So let me give you two more messages from this deck here and see what else spirit has from you. It's important that you surrender comparisons with other people. You need to keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, your own attractiveness, as well as your own power. And last but not least, which is certainly most important here, surrender to what is. You need to flow with what is instead of fighting it. Okay, because when you can't really change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you the peace that I'm kind of sensing that your heart so deserves here. All right. So let's look at a few more messages. I'm going to give you a few more messages from spirit. Okay. And again, these messages are very evocative and they're of a transformational type nature here. So let's see what messages, additional messages that spirit would have for me to share with fire signs. All right. For this time period in question here. All right. This card looks like it's about to pop out. So let's start with this one here. It's important, ladies and gentlemen, that you learn from your mistakes here, okay? Keep in mind that, you know, when soulmates or maybe you felt that you may have had a soulmate connection, understand that those connections you usually are the most brutalist connections to 
to kind of endure, really. It's always so many problems here. So don't blame yourself for the things that may have happened here. Learn from it so that you can move forward and don't make those same mistakes again. All right? It's time that you release toxic relationships. The spirit are noticing how you've been getting involved in these, these relationships that are not suitable for you. And they have been sending you signs and messages and they say you have not been paying attention to them, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? It's time that you start practicing moderation, you know, keeping in line with what you need to surrender in terms of these uh, toxic things in your body like substances and, and, and maybe overly drinking here. Doing things in moderation will bring success, okay? It's time that you learn to take responsibility for your own actions here, okay? It's time to stop feeling so down and having this woe is me type attitude or I can't believe they did this to me. No one can do anything to you unless you allow them. Keep that in mind. So take responsibility for your own damn actions, okay? <laughs> All right? And understand that the thoughts that you are contemplating, they create your reality. So it's time, once again, just to go back to what those surrender cards have told you. You have to surrender negative thinking. All right. And be yourself. Be the best you that you can possibly be. Stop worrying about what others think about you. OK, it is your journey is not theirs. All right. And trust more in your intuition because you guys have that. Very strongly inside of you, although with some of you, it may be a bit dormant, but it's still there. Try to access it. OK. And understand that like attracts like. You keep drawing these people to you, these toxic people to you because a part of you needs to experience it. Okay? And what you don't like in another person usually is what you really don't like in yourself here. So sometimes God tends to draw those people to us so that we can see a reflection of ourselves here. All right? So what I'd like to do right now is just to turn my attention over to a postcard that Spirit has asked me to read to you guys here. I have the postcards right here now, and I'm going to shuffle them all up as we see here. And I'm going to read it to you exactly what it is saying here on the card here. So, here is your postcard. All right. So, let's see what it says. Dear Wonderful You. To help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to re-examine your deepest dreams, desires. Imagine all of your desires, no matter what kind, like magic sea pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others. Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you and to support you on your journey. Fire signs, this is the message that I have for you. I certainly hope that it offered food for thought for you. Be sure to like and share. If you've yet to subscribe, please take some minutes to go on and just hit on that subscription button. Be sure to send me over your comments. And if you like a more personal reading, you can certainly contact me at will.brown at watconsultinginc.net or via my website. And all of that information is, in fact, provided in the description box. Have a nice day. Thanks a lot.